Hi everyone, yes, ask Carlos Tirzata to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today we're going to be making prasorizo. Prasorizo translates to leek and rice pilaf. It's so simple and delicious. This classic Greek dish is made with just a handful of simple ingredients. Comes together in just a few minutes and it packs tons of flavor. It's vegan, so it's perfect if you're fasting for Lent or if you want something healthy with lots of veggies. This is so good. Let's get started. So this recipe begins with one onion. Go ahead and finely chop it and add it to your pot with lots of olive oil. You could add all the way up to a third of a cup of olive oil because it's gonna, you're, re you're really gonna need it. This is known as a lavero, and lavera is basically means an oil-based vegetarian dish. They're usually cooked with lots of olive oil, but you can add as little or as much as you like. Go ahead and cook the onions over medium heat with a little pinch of salt until they're nice and soft. You don't want to get too much color on them. It's going to take about 8 to 10 minutes. Then go ahead and add two garlic cloves that have been finely grated and just warm them through until they're nice and fragrant. While the onions are cooking, you can go ahead and prepare your leeks. So you need lots of leeks for this. This is where all of the flavor is coming from. So the recipe calls for about six to seven leeks, but the ones that I found in the market, they look pretty big, but you only use the white and the light green part because the rest is too fibrous and it won't cook up. So I'm gonna use nine of them today because I want lots of that delicious flavor. Go ahead and cut off all of the dark green parts and the parts that are even a little bit too light green because those you're gonna see as you're cutting, they're really tough. You can set them aside and use them in soups and stocks if you want. And then go ahead and cut each leek in half and thinly slice it. Put all of the leeks in a big bowl of water and just move them around in there to kind of release all of the dirt that's stuck inside of them and anything, anything else that, by me, that might be inside of them. You might have to change the water several times. It just depends on how clean your leeks are. Then go ahead and lift the leeks out of there and put them in a strainer that's over a bowl to kind of drain off all of that excess water. Then go ahead and thinly slice three scallions and do the same thing with those. Put them in a bowl of cold water, move them around so that way you can release any sand or dirt that's stuck inside of them and then lift them out and put them in a strainer. Go ahead and add the leeks to your pot and again, a little pinch of salt with them. You could add some black pepper as well. Go ahead and cook those over medium heat until they're nice and soft. It's gonna take about eight to 10 minutes or so. Keep an eye on them and toss them around so that way they don't burn. Then go ahead and add two cups of your favorite rice. I like to use arborio rice for this because it really gives a nice creamy result to the dish. If you like something lighter, you can use basmati rice. Whatever rice you have, use that. I would not recommend using a brown rice for this dish. You're gonna need white rice. Go ahead and add the rice and just toss it around to kind of slightly toast it in the oil and the leeks. Then go ahead and add two teaspoons of salt. I just do two flat teaspoons so that way it's not too salty. And I also add a teaspoon of dry dill to this with six cups of room temperature water. It might sound like a lot, but it's gonna need a lot and you want the rice to end up once it's cooked to be nice and juicy. Then I like to squeeze two lemons in here, give it a nice mix. Once you see it coming to a boil, reduce the heat to a medium low. Cover the pot and let it cook for about 20 or 25 minutes or until your rice is fully cooked. Go ahead and toss it around. You could squeeze some more lemon juice on top of that. Drizzle some more olive oil. If you want to finally chop some parsley and serve it on top, that's fine too. But once that's all done, it's ready to be served. So my leek and rice pilaf is ready. I checked it at 20 minutes and the rice was perfectly cooked. You're gonna see that there's just enough of that juicy broth left over to keep the rice nice and moist. I like to serve mine with a little drizzle of olive oil on top and some freshly squeezed lemon juice, maybe the juice of half a lemon. Lemon and leeks go so well together. If you want to, you can put some freshly chopped parsley on top, but really, the simpler the better. This has so much flavor. Once you bite into it, you'll see just how creamy that rice is. It's best to serve this as soon as it's made because you want that juicy broth to still be in there. If you're reheating this the next day, you can reheat it with a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of vegetable broth or some water. Keep in mind that the rice does tend to overcook each time you warm it through and it will be a little bit mushy but the flavor will all be there. I think you guys are gonna love this one. You can print out the recipe on the website, dimitrosdishes.com. All the exact measurements are on there. I hope you guys give this a try. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. If you're not fasting for Lent or if you're not keeping this vegan, I would definitely recommend putting some feta cheese on top, of course. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you all next time. Yes, us.